I hate wrestling people that back up. In college, I had a bunch of people that I used to wrestle that always backed up, and I couldn't get to my attacks. Well, that's what this video is about. Teaching you guys how to deal with a wrestler who backs up, who's always trying to stall. So let's get right to it. When a wrestler backs up, what are they looking to do? Number one thing I see people trying to do is they're trying to get you to stand up and chase them. They're looking for you to come out of your stance and chase them. Now, I'm over-exaggerating, but that's what they're looking for. They may even back up and stand up to get you to stand up. And then when you stand up, they'll drop an attack. So understand that. They want you to chase them. They want you to run at them. They want you to get frustrated, which I know it is frustrating, so they, they want you to do that. They want you to be so frustrated you're chasing them around that you stand up and you reach with two hands and they attack on your legs. So what can we do about that? A couple different things. One thing we can do is we can stalk them and look for stalling calls. So if, if I'm here, we'll start on this end because you don't got too much room, but as Will goes to back up and I'm, and I'm going after him, go ahead and back up, I'm low and I'm, I'm here. Okay, I'm here. I am not breaking my stance. I'm always lower than him. I'm ready for him to shoot. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm looking to get him to the out of bounds because I want that stalling call. So I keep back, going back with him, you know. I cut him off too. I only allow him to go back. If he's backing up, don't allow him to circle because he'll circle back in bounds and you'll just keep chasing him around the mat. You need to back him straight up. So uh, go here, Will. I think this might help. As I back Will up to the out of bounds, Will's going to want to circle one way to get back in, or he'll circle the other way. I need to cut him off by shuffling. Oh, you want to go this way? Can't. All right, block him off. So go, you're, down, you're, you're in your stance, Will. You go that way. I, sh I stop here. Boom. I'm not really doing this, but I'm in a stance. But I'm doing that. I'm blocking him off. I'm blocking him off here. I'm blocking him off. All right, and I can't let him circle back inside. And then what I look to do, you know, as I get the out of bounds, if he starts pushing back into me now because he doesn't want me to push him out, well, now I can wrestle, right? He's pushing back in. Now I can start hand fighting. Boom, I can, I can start wrestling. So what, sometimes what you'll see is when you get a kid to the out of bounds who likes to back up, right when they hit the out of bounds, they start pushing back in. And now you can wrestle your attacks. Now you can set your shots up. You can start pulling and faking. Or... They'll, they won't really push back in, and you can just shoot them right out. And if you catch something, you can try to still finish, or you can walk them right out. Refs are calling that stalling every time, all right? Now, still it's tough. Man, if you have a good, good wrestler who's good at backing up, who's good at circling, this happened to me in one match. Bring him to the out of bounds. He circles back in, you know, and then I chase him back down. And then he ends up taking me down, because I get frustrated, and I stand up a little bit, and he just dives in and hits a quick takedown. And now he's able to do that the rest of the match, and I have to chase him around, and I lose 2-0, or 3-0, whatever the new takedown rule is. So, other options you can do. If I want to, I can just not go into him. I can just circle, right? So like if, he, if Will likes to back up, well, what if I back up? So Will's in his stance here. If I back up and he backs up, now that just looks ridiculous. They won't do that. You know, if I back up, he'll start coming to me. If I circle, he'll start coming to me. I just change to the type of wrestler he is. I don't necessarily recommend backing up because you'll get called for stalling. But instead of going heavy pressure into him, start circling. Or just stay where you are. Stay where you are here or start circling. You know, don't put as much pressure into your opponent as you were before. That way he, he, he has to wrestle you a little more. He can't just keep backing up. And then you can kind of work for, towards your tie-up. So instead of you know, pressuring in and stalking him, we get in our stance. Maybe he backs up a couple times, but I just kind of, I just kind of stay here. I wrestle here. We're going to have to engage at some point. Maybe we're kind of a little less pressure here, but we're figuring it out. Okay. Now we're in here, we're able to wrestle a little bit. Right? I get to my tie-up at least. And then I can start trying to build that pressure up. And if he decides to walk back at that point, I can push him out of bounds. Or he might, you know, start pressuring back in and I can start moving him. So instead of doing that heavy pressure, circle. Instead of walking into him, circle and get him to wrestle you 
at this position where we're kind of we're wrestling here more now because I'm not pressuring into them. And now I can, you know, I can get some motion going and I'm close enough where I can maybe hit that attack. But one thing you really have to avoid, do not shoot when they back up. Do not like really commit to a shot. If, if we're here and Will's backing up and I go ahead and back up and I go to shoot, oh, they're waiting for that too. So they're either waiting for you to break your stance and to shoot, or they're waiting for you to shoot and they just do a go behind. You don't shoot when they're backing up. He's going away from you. That's why we need the pressure. We need the pressure so we can shoot and they fall into us. If they're backing up and I go to shoot, oh, I'm missing that. And a lot of times they'll use, they're using that. That's the style they're playing. They want you to shoot so they can, you know, so go ahead, Will, you can shoot on me. They can use this to attack, to circle, to move you. So be very, don't shoot. And if you do shoot, watch the way I'm shooting. It's kind of wide. I'm just hitting my knee here. You know, I'm not getting go behind. I'm shooting with my head up a lot more. Kind of like, you know, you don't want to get slid by or anything weird, but that's the kind of shots you'll see to kind of push people out of bounds. So that's what I recommend, okay? Um, if you're wrestling someone who backs up a lot, one, try to get the stall call. Stay in a stance. Do, do not reach with two hands and walk into them. Stay in a stance. Keep one hand down. Get them to the out of bounds. Push them out of bounds. Get a stall call. If that's causing an issue, start circling. Stop pushing and start circling. Get him wrestling you in this closer distance and mixing your wrestling up. Add a fake. Boom. Hand fight a little bit in that, you know, without pushing into him. Because you know every time you push, he backs away. All right, well, let me not push as much. Let me circle. Let me walk back, get him to come into you. And then that last thing I just want to remind you guys of is do not shoot if they're backing up. All right? Hopefully that helped you guys out. Hopefully you can start beating those opponents who are super annoying and backing up all the time. And also, just a quick reminder, free academy. Links in the description. Over 50 instructionals. Get your questions answered. Jump levels this season. And I'll see you guys in the next video.